What's going on YouTube? Samuel Adams here and today Today we got something special for you. We're gonna be doing the new BR draft strategy meta I'll be going over all the drafts and telling you guys what you guys should be doing to best your chances to go 12 and 0 before we begin I just want to show you something last night for the first time all year. We finally Got that 12 and 0 banner if you guys do not know we went 12 and 0 36 times last year in 2019 so hopefully that success can carry over to 20 as we just got our first last night but here so we're going to enter the battle royal draft now there's a couple of things that are different this year so first you can choose your starters this year last year you had pitcher roulette this year you can actually pick a gold starter a diamond starter and use him now another thing that got changed was opener so you can pick a reliever and start him and then start your starting pitcher or bring in your starting pitcher out of the bullpen so there's been a bunch of different changes there's a couple other changes that have happened that i'll go along with while we're drafting i just wanted to get that out of the way i think there's more silvers now there's more um commons no no more bronze and less commons but let's go let's go into the draft and i'll tell you guys what you guys should be doing to help your chances the best to go 12 and 0 right here our first round we have Hal Neusenhauser, Willie McCovey, Ray Biggio, and Jimmy Rollins. So here, usually it depends on your first round. Sometimes I've, I've gone with 99 Kluber before as a starter, but here I'm gonna go Biggio. I think having a guy that plays in all 12 games, because if you pick Kluber, there's a new thing called pitcher energy. So if you use Kluber and he pitches 20 is pitching in the game, he's probably gonna be out for the next two games. So reliever energy boost back up to full energy faster than starters starters usually takes two games relievers it takes one game so say i have dennis echoes uh no who is it raleigh fingers the 96 overall raleigh fingers and he pitches say he throws 20 pitches in my first game of br in the second game his energy is going to be extremely extremely low so you're not going to be able to use them but for the third game you will be able to bring him in because his energy should be full. It usually will be. But for a starter, it's going to take longer to develop. So for this pick, I'm going to go Biggio. Go second base. That's a tough position to do. And Biggio has a catcher secondary position, which is huge. So he can go play second or I can put him at catcher. So let's go Biggio. Here's, another, here's a good round right here. Here's our second diamond. We got Longoria, Rushman, Cody Allen, and Degom. So... Again, I don't want to go diamond starter here. Cody Allen, he'd be better, but he only has a four seam, a knuckle curve, and a changeup. That's not that good of repertoire for a pitcher, so I'm not going to go him. Longo's, I mean, he's a, not that good of a diamond. He's a diamond fielding, but hitting wise is not what I'm looking for. Switch hitting catcher with 85 fielding. I mean, yeah, 85 fielding, 85 arm. And then he, he switch hitter with 86, 85, 76, and 74. Yeah. That's the type of guy I need. So Rushman is definitely the pick there. Here we got a first bronze round. So what I've been looking to do with these drafts is I've been looking to go for either two or three silver starters and then a decent pin. So I try to still get my two or three lefties, but I want at least four to five guys in my pin that can get out, right? So here, so I don't mind wasting two starting picks up to three. I've had, um. I've had two starters in my drafts that are, have been quality starters and sometimes three guys that I don't want to use unless I'm in a blowout situation. But um, here, we're going to waste a starter. I don't see any pick, any guy that I like. He has a speed, but I can wait a little bit longer for that. So we're going to go starting pitcher. This round. Okay, so here's a common round. And again, I was telling you guys about wasting starting pitcher, but we have Steven Wright. And as everybody knows, Steven Wright has a knuckleball. You get a knuckleball, you get Steven Wright, just draft him. And just draft him. So we got a, one of our silver, our first silver round. We got Strowman, Darren O'Day, Garcia, and Jay Bruce. So let's look at Strowman's stuff. He has a sinker, slider, cutter, changeup, and forcing. So that is a great arsenal of pitches. Now, I actually kind of want to take him. You have Darren O'Day, who's the side armor. Again, five innings, nine array, but in all start in, in this game for 20, it's very easy to hit. So even a nine array. You kind of expect that but it's another guy who can get quality outs for you even get some lefties out so he's not a bad pick i don't like garcia he doesn't have the power 
Then you have Jay Bruce. Jay Bruce last year was super glitchy. Again, you guys see it here. Super small sample size. We're four for seven. But two homers, 571. I want to boost my lineup up. I can still get some quality starters later on. So let's go Jay Bruce here. We're fourth round. We have a bronze round. We got a couple guys that, I mean, he's not, I don't want a first baseman yet. I want a, that power hitting first baseman. Naylor doesn't do it. I, I'm not using my third base seat yet. My center field. We're going to waste another starter here. You know what? No, we're not going to do that. We're actually going to go center fielder. Because there's so many outfielders that you can get. And another new thing this year is, if you guys remember last year, you had to fill out all your spots to finally get the bench spots. So you'd have your last five rounds would be your bench hitters. This year, say I, if I fill up my whole lineup, they will still give me hitters to choose from that I can put on my bench. So even though I'm wasting a center fielder right now, I can still get one later on as soon as I finish out my lineup. So we're gonna use a center fielder, just waste that. He'll be a bench arm. I mean, a bench bat. Now we have Cliff Lee. Again, another guy with a good arsenal of pitches. Craig Kimbrell. I never, ever like Kimbrell because he only has three pitches and they're all very hittable. Then we have Machado. Machado is always good at third base. I mean, he has the, the diamond defense. Obviously, I'm only one for eight, but he's good with him. But this Frank Thomas. So look at my stats with this Frank Thomas. We're hitting 571 in 35 at bats. 20 hits and eight homers. The key to this year is drafting power. Because if you get a perfect, perfect fly ball with 80 power or more, it's guaranteed to be a home run. Unless you're playing like polo grounds where it's a super deep center field. So 89 and 96 power is a must have. So we're gonna go Frank Thomas here. So we got Duvall, Segura, Leclerc, and Martinez. Again, a tough round. I'm not gonna choose any hitter here. My lineup's looking good. I don't need a hitter. We have Leclerc. They upped his velocity this year. He touches 100 miles an hour. So he throws from 97 to 100. So he is filthy. Like, I mean, you see three and two thirds. It's only three and two thirds, but that's a hell of an ERA and BR this year. And then Carlos Martinez, two seam slider, four seam cutter changeup. I told you guys, we want to get quality starters, right? We want to get quality starters, but I'm going to go with Leclerc. I, you need some bullpen arms. We're going to start with Leclerc here. Now we have our bronze round, we got Pablo Lopez, Stripling, Cozart, and Calhoun. So, again, we're not going to pick a starter yet. Stripling's not bad, but we're not going to go him. Cozart, Cozart's not an option in this round. This Willie Calhoun card, again, you want to go power. Power matters. Power and arms. That's all you need. And 75 and 72, even though he has a 47 defense, I want him to be a bench bat. Or I would plug him in, hopefully it's second. I don't want, you do not want 47 speed, uh, 47 fielding and 29 speed in the outfield at all. You just do not. So hopefully it's gonna be a bench bat. Two for six with a bomb. He got that power off the bench. You can bring him versus righties or lefties because he does have that 72 power. So we're gonna go Cal Calhoun here. Here's another bronze round. We're just gonna, I don't wanna waste another infield spot yet. I don't wanna waste a starter. We're gonna take the lefty out of the pin. Again, not great at option, but anytime I can get a lefty, you, you can go a lefty. But another change, another change from 19, you can bring the lefty in and you can only, he would face a lefty and then you can take him out. This year, there's a three batter minimum. So what that means is if I bring in two Pomeranz, he would have to face three batters or, or he would have to record the final out of the inning and then I can change him. So that's a huge change in BR. So even if I bring him in, he's most likely going to have to face at least one righty. But again, I'll, I worry about that when I get there. I, of course, want to get the out. Hopefully, I can just bring him in for one batter, which is a lefty. He finishes the inning off, and then I can take him out. But again, Pomerantz, maybe I don't even have to use him. Here we got Iglesias, Longoria, Diego Castillo, and Samarja. Samarja got, a, again, a nice repertoire of pitches, but Diego Castilla, he's just so valuable when he throws 100 miles an hour four seam, has a dirty sinker with the slider. We're gonna go Diego Castillo here, kind of bolster our, our bullpen up a little bit. Here's another silver round. We got Rojas, no power, we're not choosing him. La Stella, more power, not good fielding, but not a bad card. Kella, I'm not a fan of this, I haven't used this card. He got killed last year. He's easy to read again. I'm not a fan of this guy. 
And we have Juice Smiley. Juice Smiley has four seam fastball, a curveball, the cutter, excuse me, and the changeup. So he, again, on nice repertoire of pitches, he's a lefty. A lot of guys like to start out with left-handed power hitters. So say I have Swarber, Mike Trout, and Jordan Alvarez. They like to start their lineup up with Swarber, Trout, Jordan Alvarez. So again, three batter minimum. This year, you can't just put a common in there. You cannot because he has to face three batters and you're guaranteed, you're guaranteed to give up a homer with a common. So you do not start your commons. So I'm getting Drew Smiley because I can choose Drew Smiley. He can get, he, he's a quality pitcher. He can get outs and we're gonna, we can choose him. So there we go. Here we have Al Leiter, Nolan Ryan, Aguado Escobar, and Marcus Semien. So again, another solid lineup or another solid round here. I'm not a fan of this Al Leiter, so we're not gonna choose him. This Nolan Ryan, he only has a four seam, a 12 to six and a changeup. But the big thing about him this year and that makes him a little bit special is the 63 stamina. So I told you guys, pitcher energy matters this year. You have to you have to manage your bullpen, right? And your starters. If you use a guy and he gets tired fast, you have to take him out and he's gonna be tired next game. With the 63 stamina, you can realistically put Nolan Ryan in for two innings, three innings, most likely two innings. There are around 25 pitches around that. And he can get some outs for you. So he's big again. I don't like his arsenal pitches, but the stamina is huge. But whenever I get this Aguardo Escobar card, I choose him. Now, 71 fielding, 80 arm strength. He's nice. He has basically average, a little bit above average stats across the board hitting wise. But he plays third base, first base, second, short left field. He has a very, very good swing. A guy who plays above his stats. We're going to go with Guado Escobar here. And he's a switch hitter. So here we got the Dong, Josh Taylor, lefty reliever. Nice. Eckersley, who's a starter. This silver version is a starter. And then Tanaka. So let's start with the Dong. The Dong last year, and yes, the Dong, I call him the Dong. Last year, people always chose him. So he's better defensively, a little less power versus lefties, but I am not going to choose him this round. This guy, Josh Taylor, he has a four seam, cutter, curveball, and two seam. So his pitches are not that bad. And again, a, a nice lefty reliever. I mean, you see it four and he's no ERA, so he's good. But I want that starting pitcher. I want the starting pitcher. So look at Tanaka, 13 and two thirds with a .66. He is dirty. He has a slider, the four seam, the splitter, the sinker, the curveball. So he's a great arsenal of pitches. One of the best in the game, silver starter. You can choose him. He can go two innings for you. Then you can bring a star, uh, reliever in. You can go one inning, whatever it is. But Tanaka is a great choice. Whenever I've been getting, whenever I've been doing my BR runs and I get him, I choose him. He's just so good. He can save your bullpen from, cause you want to, again, you want to save your pin when, so you want to use them not as much because you use them. You cannot just bring in the best guy over and over and over again, like last year. So we go to Tanaka, he's a good pitcher. And we have two solid starters here. We got Cole Tucker. So he has some speed here. I think the move here, we don't want to waste another starter. We can wait. We can use this guy to reliever. He throws gas, but he only nah. We're gonna we're gonna get this 92 speed here for pitch runner off the bench. But we have a Guardo Rodriguez, Sal Perez, Duval, and Conforto. We do need another outfielder, so I think Conforto's the move here. You get another lefty bat. Again, 85 power. Even the 65 power, he always has a good swing. He's a good card. Let's go Conforto here. Here's a bronze round. We have Trevino. Trevino always throws hard. I just feel like he's so easy to hit. Garrett Richards is probably kind of dirty. He throws gas, has a nice slider as a primary pitch. Miss Moreland. You know what? We're going to go lefty power hitter off the bench. Let's go Moreland here. We have our a silver round. We have Chris Archer. I haven't picked him yet, but I faced him. He's very easy to read, so I would not advise to picking him as one of your silver starters. You have Soria, four seam, curve boss slider changes. So his arsenal of pitches is nice. I haven't used him yet. Again, he has a super slow curveball where you can just throw in there, and maybe fool some batters, and then try to uh, get that 93 fastball by some hitters. But Aaron Hicks is always one of my favorite cards in the game. I mean, you guys see it 11 for 21, 524 average, six homers. He just always rakes. He's that good defense out in the outfield with a 94 arm strength. Arm strength 
matters a lot this year in the outfield. Outfield defense, you need outfield defense. So if we have Jay Bruce and Ray, we can put Fordo over and left. Aaron Hicks in center, that is a nice team. We're starting to round our team up. So let's go Hicks here. Now again, we still need more pitching, right? We still need another shortstop. This round, I don't want to waste another bench guy because I need another shortstop. So we're not going to use Arcia. We're not going to use Alberto. I want to keep another starter for maybe a silver or a gold if I need it. So we're just going to waste a bullpen arm here. Here's another bronze round. Again, I don't want to waste a starter. This is kind of a tough round because now we're getting to the point where, yeah, we can go. We would be okay with having two starters and then just filling out our bullpen with good pitchers, right? Right here, filling out a bullpen with good pitchers. But I think I'm going to hopefully, I'm going to waste another spot, go Kyle Tucker. Hopefully, we can get our shortstop or third base because of Guado Escobar. I think he can play short and then we'd be fine. So let's use Kyle Tucker here. Wow, we get so layer. So, oh, so we have scope here, actually. This Jonathan scope breaks and he can play shortstop. Now, does he play well? Not really, but he can play shortstop. I would go Solaire 99 out of 100 times. This is the one time I'm not going to go with him because, again, I need a shortstop. I got to fill out my lineup. You cannot have easy outs because this year you need to score runs in BR. You're going to be playing 10 to 9 games, 98, 9 to 8 games. Pitching is very, very difficult in BR with the energy system, not always being able to bring your best reliever at all times. So you got to fill up. You need to go 8 deep in that lineup. So we got to go scope here. Again, we can go Batances, but I'm not a fan of Batances and Eckersley for a starter. But I think I want to fill out my lineup. I still have one silver and one gold where I can get a salt, uh, starter and reliever. And then uh, kind of work with my bullpen, you know. So here we got Will Smith, who is very, very dirty. But I actually haven't used these guys yet. These are the new prospect cards. Dang, okay, hold up. This guy got a sinker, a slurve, a circle change, and a cutter. Those are basically the four pitches that I would want. And he throws 94. Lefty. You know what? We're going to go with the starter here. We're going to get our third starter. So that means what we can do when we get the starter is that every game. So I can start with this guy. Start him. I would actually. So I would save. Usually you want to save your best starters for the third game, the sixth game, the ninth game. So if you get to your 12th game. That you have your best starter available. So that's what I would do. I'd probably go Tanaka first, Smiley second, and then this guy third, and then kind of do it like that, because then Tanaka would be ready for game four, Smiley would be ready for game five, Mata would be ready for game six, etc. So that's what we're gonna do right here. Now we got Wrinkler, Martin, Robertson, and Adovino. Wrinkler has a, a cutter, four seam, curveball, two seam. I've used him, he's been pretty good so far. You have Martin. So this guy Martin, right? Chris Martin. He has the perfect pitches. He's the four seam, the sinker, the cutter, the change of the slider. Perfect arsenal. But he's very easy to read. As you guys can tell, three, two thirds, 12, two, 70 or eight, not good. You have Robertson. Again, I never picked Robertson because all his pitches move the same. And then you have Adovino, who only has the, the two pitches, the slider, the cutter, the two seam. Again, not bad righty on rest, righty on righty. Lefties will kill him. I picked the bitch with Wrinkler, but Chris Martin again has the best. He has the best um, arsenal. It's kind of a tough round, actually. I think I want, even though I have a 12 270 array, I kind of want to stick with Martin just because he has such a good arsenal of pitches. Yeah, we're going to go Martin here. Are there any lefties? There's no lefties here. So we're just going to try to find the guy with the best pitches. Four seam, change of slider, curveball. That could work. He has five pitches, so right now he's in first. I always look for the guys with five pitches. Okay, so it's going to be warmer, warmer font because he has five pitches. And here's a common round. Again, we're just going to go with a lefty here, Victor Gonzalez. Okay, so that's the end of the draft. Now here, this, this is what I would do. So right away, this bullpen kind of was not the best. I would probably bring in... So you want to save your best guy later on. Instead of this year, you bring your best guy right away just in case you don't have to use him in that game. If you go up to like a five six seven run lead you want to bring in the guys like Wilmer Fonts, Victor Gonzalez even your starters like this is how I'm going to set up my rotation right here so 
You can. Even, I forgot I had Stephen Wright, so I technically didn't. Could probably should have went Will Smith here because I have Stephen Wright, and you can use Stephen Wright. So technically, I actually have four guys. So you, you know what I would do in this specific draft? I would have my bullpen right here, right? I would use these three guys when I need them, right? If I go lefty, bring in Pomeran. I would bring in Diego Castillo first. Try to use him as, literally as often as I can. Try to save Leclerc when I really need him. And then I, you can even start with an opener. But since I have four starters, you don't have to. But I would use Stephen Wright out of the bullpen as often as I could. So say I go with Tanaka. He goes an inning or two innings. I would bring in Stephen Wright for the third inning because you're not expecting a knuckleballer. And that is a that is a, a really nice piece to have in the pin. For our lineup, let's go put in Conforto in left field. Hicks in center. Scope at shortstop. Now, this lineup is filthy. So what I like to do is, for this time, you don't got to start. So last year, right? Again, you, you would start your low vision power hitters leading it off. Because they would have a, they would face a common, right? So they, their PCIs would be bigger, and you have more of a chance to hit a homer right away. And you would have your best hitter second. This year, you don't have to do that. So unless if I have a, like I have these guys, but I kind of I don't have that many lefties. Actually, my lineup kind of balanced that well. I lied. You know, no, we're gonna we're gonna lead off Biggio. We're gonna Rushman second. Frank Thomas because he's such a monster third. Conforto fourth. Yeah, Escobar fifth. Let's go. No, I actually no, I lied. This is the lineup right here. Biggio, Rushman, Thomas, Hicks, Conforto, Scope, Escobar, Bruce. This lineup is filthy. This is actually a very, very, very good lineup. There we go. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have Escobar hit uh six and then Scope and, and Bruce. Yeah, this team is filthy. So again, the strategy, the, the BR is changed so much. It's changed so much because of all of the new rules now, right? The energy system, the three batter minimum, being able to choose a starter, being able to choose an opener. So like I said, for this team, guys, I would really use Steven Wright as the pin. I would use these three guys. I wouldn't go with an opener with this team. I, you, my bullpen's not super strong, so I need my bullpen when I need them, you know, the second inning, the third inning, even after the three batter minimum. So I would, I would go between these three guys, then go to my bullpen and use whoever is available. But remember, energy, energy, energy. You try to save your energy when you can. But again, if, if it's second and third, one out, you need your best arm. So you warm up Leclerc, you bring him in, and hopefully you can get out. Because again, you're thinking about the next game, but you got to win the game you're playing. You know what I'm saying? So. It's, it's so much strategy, so much strategy. But what I look for mostly is pop. I look for as much power as possible. I look for two to three good starters and then four to five good bullpen arms. So you really need to balance your team out, but while still while still getting power hitters because power is power, power, power. It matters so much this year. You gotta out, I know it's obviously common knowledge. You gotta score more runs than your opponent to win the game. But it's so easy to hit an all-star this year that you really need to draft power hitters too. So BR is going to be tough this year. I hope you guys learned a thing or two about drafting in this video. If you guys have any comments, I know I kind of was a little bit all over the place because there's so much to go over. If you guys have any kind of questions about drafting, anything like that, please leave them in the comments below. I will answer your comments to the best of my abilities. You can also follow me on Twitter and ask, go on my DMs. My DMs are always open. You can uh, ask me any question you guys have in there. I will respond to you. My Twitter will be in the description below. But other than that, other than that, I think we covered it all. So until then, I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And I'm out.